Hi everyone, it's Luke here, uh, the younger half of the Burton brothers. Um, just wanted to apologise for the uh, for the lack of videos uh, for quite a while, really, on our channel. Um, there's uh, there's been quite a lot of things going on behind closed doors uh, with the Burton brothers, um, but uh, rest assured, we're we're back at it, and, and more videos will be coming. Uh, I've had some tough times of late, uh, which has really impacted my uh, my training. Um, first off, I uh, I've suffered some 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 mental health issues um, over the past couple of years, which which has always been a bit of a sticking point really in my training. Uh, secondly, um, injuries. Uh, I've had shoulder problems which has made uh, training quite hard I've had to try and work around it as best I can and then um, in 2019 I had a shock diagnosis with type 1 diabetes so suffice to say that not me for six and uh, you know I, that, that that put me out of out of the picture for a while I lost a lot of weight and um, I, I, I'm slowly trying to just build myself back up Here I'm doing squats, probably uh, one of the best, if not the best, exercises for size and strength in the legs. Um, trying to keep a flat back going down as deep as possible while maintaining that, uh, that, that straight back posture. Here I'm doing bench press using a relatively narrow grip. Uh, reason being that uh, I do have some shoulder issues and using an arrow grip does help alleviate some of the, uh, the strain that the exercise can cause on my shoulders. Um, using a full range of motion, bringing the bar down to the chest and then pressing back up uh, until the lockout position. Next exercise was chins. Um, again, using full range of motion, all the way down, all the way up. Um, trying as best I can to uh, focus on using my back muscles rather than letting the arms take over an exercise. Uh, and a handy little trick that I sometimes employ to uh, to achieve that is uh, is not to grip the bar fully, but to use a, a false grip with the, where the thumb is on the same side as the bar of the fingers. Um, doing this it helps take the biceps out of the uh, equation somewhat, I find. After the chest and back work, I moved on to pullovers across a flat bench. Now, this is an exercise that you don't see very often today, but uh, it's one that was employed heavily by the, uh, by the bodybuilders of yesteryear. And, uh, Seeing as that's the sort of physiques that I, that I try to emulate, uh, it always finds a place in my uh, workout program. Um, works the chest and the back, but the um, the main goal here is to uh, actually work the the rib box. Now, science says that you can't expand your rib cage through exercise, but uh, looking at the results of the guys uh, like Arnold and, and Lou Ferrigno. I don't think you can really argue with the results and uh, it's just an exercise that I've always enjoyed doing you know you get a great pump from it and uh, I think it's good also for flexibility in your upper body and uh, I think it can also help with posture as well next on the agenda was military press uh, a strict press no leg drive um, Again, using a full range of motion, bar on the on the uh, clavicle, pushing up to lock out. Uh, trying as best I can to keep a straight back, because uh, it can be quite a dangerous exercise on the uh, on the low back if you uh, if you allow yourself to lean back too far whilst you whilst you're pushing the weight up. After the presses, uh, I did barbell curls. Um, probably the best exercise for building size and strength in the biceps. Um, trying to use a uh, fairly strict technique using a full range of motion so fully extended arms at the bottom um, curling up in as wide an arc as possible and then contracting hard at the top
after the curls, I moved on to deadlifts. Um, this is a, a full body exercise. Um, so it really works the legs well as well as the uh, as well as the back muscles, gr the grip also. Um, it's just a, a great all around exercise. I'd like to thank uh, anybody that watched and uh, please keep uh, tuned into the Burton Brothers channel. Um, now I'm back on the on the wagon so to speak. There's, uh, there'll definitely be more more videos coming uh, coming your way soon. So.